the truth. One of the keys to North Korea's funding its expanding nuclear program might be here in Russia. We came here to investigate how the sanction-starved regime is getting cash through smuggling right under everyone's nose. This area may look completely blocked off right now by the ice. This is actually an essential shipping route. A route apparently used to move banned goods and keep Kim Jong-un's regime afloat. A still unpublished UN report obtained by NBC News says North Korea made $200 million in just nine months last year through illicit trade. The report described several cases of shipping North Korean coal through Russia. We were searching the ports for specific ships, including the Vityaz. We're looking for a ship called Vitez. She will check now. She'll check? Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. According to shipping logs, the Vityaz went out to sea last fall and then apparently turned off its locator beacon. Reuters quoted two European security officials who said the ship then transferred 1,600 tons of oil to a North Korean vessel. The guard remembered the ship, but when she checked the records, the ship's name wasn't on them. Can we go in and see it? We did eventually find a way to get to the Vityaz in that port and capture these images. Russia has a rich history of often being an obstacle to sanctions against some of the darkest characters in the international sphere. Despite our findings in that UN report, no Russian ships or companies were included in the latest US sanctions. The Russian government and the ship owners had no comment. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my back.